Hi, I'm professional rugby player Victor Vittel and welcome to my home. I didn't get where I am today by taking shortcuts on no sir. I got where I am by hard work. And this. I call it Kill the Gene because that's what its name is. Look, if you want to be like Vic, you need KTG. You know, why don't we just get straight into it? I'll see you soon. Well, they don't kick off, but it's a good kick, is it? Oh, no, it's been intercepted. It's been picked up by Fusilia. Back and forth to Piatel. Oh, that's easy. What a try. Horn, he's caught down just short. Here's a chance for Pagina. Strong himself at the line and scores. And quick to set there, Moore. Couple of shots forwards, pulled out of it. The Highlanders are rumbling and have scored. Christie did well. Now Aaron Smith. Trevi again with a kick. It's for Richard Buckman to chase. And Volvo across, but Buckman will beat him there. Ikitoa. Wow, so strong and brilliant run from Fekitoa. This is sheer brilliance. Advantage being played still. And tomorrow. Oh. Try with the Brumbies. White. Pops one over, Moore, quick hand for May, diving into the corner. They're celebrating the Brumbies. It's a penalty against the Brumbies, and the Weber takes it quickly. Stepping through, catching them, napping. Good hands there from Hanek, and he crashes over the line. Pressure on at the moment now. Cooper, short pass, beautiful to Robinson. And here from the corner goes Ben Lucas. Now here is Taylor looking to get around. Here's Jane. Corey Jane and the Hurricanes bounce back like that for the world. Now Jane, quick hands. Here's Vito striding away. Back on the inside. Jane again. And Corey gets two. Penalty advantage coming here as Perinara goes himself and scores. Right in front of the goalposts. Perinara again. Playing advantage. Quick hands. Taylor. Corey Jane gets a hat trick. James Hansen off to Barrett. Gets the pass back on the inside to Bateman. And here is Arnie Sabia. But at the end of 80 odd minutes, the Hurricanes have come out on top. You want to see them again? Go to randomrugby.co.nz. Watch it over and over without the ads. But we don't have any ads. Hey, what was your first car? You probably don't even have one. Do any teenagers get their licence anymore? Or do mummy and daddy still drive you to your best friend's birthday party? <laughs> Hunger, uh, what was your first car, mate? My first car? Um, it wasn't until I made New Zealand Sevens team. I got a flash Ford. That was my first car. I used to walk everywhere. My shoes were in my car when I was at high school. Me and my boys, we used to have a bike game and our pedal bikes and just walk around town with our patch. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we had a, a Toyota Corolla, a little hatchback. It was kind of one of the pass through all my brothers, so my older brother had it. When he left home, I, I got it, so uh, yeah, it was pretty sweet. My parents, they brought me a car on my 16th birthday. It was a Toyota Vit, so that was pretty cool. Jules, you're a BMW convertible? <laughs> <laughs> nah, um... You took me for a ride <laughs> Like, uh, hunger, I think, yeah, we walked everywhere as well. Playing for the Hollanders for me is a, a dream come true. Always wanted to play Super Rugby and uh, the Hollanders gave me that chance. I'm very thankful for that. 
When I put on this jersey, it just uh, means the amount of pride goes through me. I'm ready to get out there and do it for the boys and do it for the crowd. The Highlander region is a pretty special place. We've got just a great fan base and we're really thankful for all the support we get down there. Eight Celtic rings on the jersey represent all eight Islanders regions. Very proud, passionate rugby fans and we're very lucky we get to represent them. The Celtic knot never ends, it keeps going and I think that's just like our supporters and that support is definitely felt by the players. Catching stuff is good, right? If you don't catch the ball, you can't score, can you? Simple. So why would you run away from the ball, Skucks? advice someone has given you. Do you think about it much? Do you live by it? I was once told that random is a good thing. The best advice I've ever been given is as long as you work hard, anything is possible. Look, life will be hard, but don't ever quit or give up on it. Just, you know, if I ever feel down, just push myself up and just keep moving forward. Best piece of advice I've ever been given is, uh, I guess the old cliche, hard work pays off. Um, I'm probably testament to that. I didn't go through, through the grades, um, didn't go through all your typical rep teams and got my first break when I was 22, 23. So um, and that was purely down to uh, one coach saying, you know, just keep working hard and you'll get your rewards eventually. Mm -hmm.